द फर्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन अ की वैल्यू आरडीडी प्रोवाइड्स इज रिड्यूस बाय की दिस रिड्यूस बाय की इज वेरी सिमिलर टू हडूप्स रिड्यूस द रिड्यूस बाय की इज अ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अनलाइक रिड्यूस व्हिच इज एन एक्शन दिस यू कैन कंफर्म बाय चेकिंग द रिटर्न वैल्यू वेयर आउट इक्वल्स केवी आरडीडी डॉट रिड्यूस बाय की ब्रैकेट ए कॉमा बी इम्प्लाय ए प्लस बी ब्रैकेट क्लोज रिड्यूस बाय की ग्रुप्स डेटा बेस्ड ऑन द फर्स्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द ट्यूबल्स एंड कंबाइंस वैल्यूज फॉर ईच की यूजिंग द रिड्यूस फंक्शन पास टू रिड्यूस बाय की एज आर्ग्यूमेंट लेट्स कलेक्ट द रिजल्ट विद आउट डॉट कलेक्ट यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज ग्रुप्ड वैल्यूज into two groups with key 1 and with key 2 and then computed the sum for each of the keys let's understand how it worked it first grouped the data by the key which is first value of tuple and then reduced the list of values for each key here we have two keys 1 and 2 for 1 we grouped 2 3 6 together and then for 2 there is only one value which is 4 now the values 2 3 6 of 1 are being reduced using the function passed as argument to reduce by key which here is summation so 2 and 3 is combined to 5 and 5 and 6 summed up to 11 So the result is one eleven and two four. Let's take another example. Say we would like to compute the frequencies of words in a huge text file. In other words, objective is to find unique words in the text and find the frequencies of each of these unique words. If we have a text with two lines containing sa re re and sa ga we should be able to print the number of occurrences of ga as 1 re as 2 and sa as 2 how would we achieve this we can achieve this simply by using reduce by key but for reduce by key we need to first break the lines into words and then form key value pairs out of words let's see first we created an rdd with name lines from a file located in hdfs at data mr word count big.txt please note that the diagram is not showing the data from this file actually it is just dummy data to avoid too much of text on the screen in this rdd by default each record is a line then using flat map we split each line by space into words thus the resulting rdd words is made up of words next using map we convert each word into a tuple so that we can use reduce by key in this tuple the first element is word and second is numeric 1 now we are ready to call reduce by key with the reduce function which is simply summing two values passed as argument the reduce by key first groups the data based on the key the first value of our tuple which is a word and then reduces the values of each key using the function we passed in argument please note that we need to call an action for the process to complete if you just want to see first 10 records you can use counts.take10 or if you want to save the results into hdfs you can use counts.save as text file bracket word dash count dash spark let's execute these steps on spark shell inside cloudex lab web console and wait for it to finish now you can see that the folder is created 
with the name passed to save as text file and the results are saved inside this folder the folder contains files for each partition of rdd on which we called save as text file let's take an example of how to compute maximum temperature for each city given the temperature of cities on various dates we basically need to use reduce by key with max as the function but for that we need to prepare proper key value rdd where key is the city and the value is the temperature let's see first we created an rdd with the name txt rdd from a file located in hdfs at slash data slash spark slash temps dot csv please note that the data in this file is comma separated you can check this using hue or hadoop fs dash cat now let's define a function clean record that would create the needed tuple or key value pair for each line of text clean record first splits the line by comma and creates an array arr this array's 0th element is temperature and first element is city for city we need to remove white space around it and that's why we are using trim we need to convert temperature from string or text to integer so we are using to int with it this function returns tuple having city as the key and temperature as the value then we define a function which takes two integers as argument and return the max of the two using an if else condition finally we call reduce by key with this function as argument this would first group the data by key and then reduce the values to a single value using our max function recall that the max function is associative and commutative finally we can call an action such as collect to print or save as text file to save the results obtained after running the lineage graph